Tower Strings, Electric Violin is your ticket to the big gig. Whether you need it for a bar band, a church praise team, street busking, silent practicing, or rocking an arena, this violin will take you there. It's available in full size and currently comes in three colors, black Merlot and this oak, which is actually painted to look like wood. And you can keep many of the same comforts as your acoustic violin. It has a standard Guarneri chin rest. You can use almost any shoulder rest with it. This upper bout helps you keep yourself oriented when you're shifting on the fingerboard. And it has four fine tuners to quickly make adjustments. The high quality piezo pickup under the bridge produces a warm, accurate, and surprisingly clean sound, which is essential if you're trying to amplify your violin and you've been relying on microphones, which simply can't isolate the sound of your instrument enough if you're playing on loud stages. All the controls are on this back panel, including the inputs and outputs. The main line out uses an eighth inch or small headphone jack, and an eighth inch to quarter inch cable is included in the outfit, or you could always keep an adapter with you. The headphone jack allows you to monitor what you're playing. You won't hear a ton of sound on a loud stage, but you'll hear enough if you're in a quiet space. Even though you have to blindly reach for the volume and the tone knobs, you can find them pretty quickly after just a couple tries. And the tone knob makes a pretty big difference in the sound. In one position, it gives you more treble and sounds a little edgy, kind of bright. If you turn it all the way to the other extreme, it's a much more rounded, gives you much more bass. Somewhere in the middle usually sounds pretty good. One of my favorite features though is this middle jack that's labeled microphone. It's actually a line in. So you can take an external audio source like from this iPad and plug in there. You could use a metronome or a drone, or I really like these karaoke tracks, sort of backing tracks. And then you take your headphones and plug them into the headphone jack. And now it mixes those two audio sources on the violin you can really have a lot of fun practicing silently or practice improvising, whatever you want to do. We typically set up the violins with Daddario Prelude strings, although that could change in the future. But at checkout, you'll be asked if you want to upgrade to the Fiddler Man synthetic core strings for about half the price you would pay than when you buy them separately. And I'd highly recommend doing this, not because they're a significantly different sounding set of strings, but they feel a little bit softer under your fingers. They respond a little bit easier. Uh, there's not quite as much uh, difference you can make with string choice on an electric violin compared to an acoustic instrument. There's significantly more controls just with this tone knob or other effects pedals but I do recommend uh, choosing a set of strings that are comfortable to play. So there are endless possibilities with this violin. It's a great affordable instrument just to have ready for when that amazing opportunity arrives unexpectedly. We look forward to seeing where this violin takes you. You can start your journey to the big gig by visiting fiddlershop.com.